Hi, welcome to the Stellarium introduction video. There's also a teacher reference that goes with this video. Stellarium is free open source planetarium software. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. There's also a Stellarium in-browser web application that can be accessed for free on desktop or mobile and could be a really great resource for students. That's available right here. But as of March 2020, that version has limited functionality and we recommend that you download a desktop version for classroom use. A paid Stellarium mobile app is also available for Android and iOS. Stellarium renders realistic views of the sky at any time or date on any place on Earth. It also allows the user to speed up time, giving students the opportunity to observe patterns in the sky over periods of hours to centuries and collect data that might otherwise be beyond the scope of the classroom. You can download Stellarium from the Stellarium website at stellarium.org. Choose the version of the software at the top that matches the operating system that you're using. I'm using Mac OS X, so I would click on that icon right here. But if I was using Windows, I would click on one of these icons here. I'm going to open up Stellarium down here. Once the software is installed, you can adjust the view by zooming in and out and panning around the sky. You can pan by clicking and dragging with the left mouse like this. And you can zoom uh, in and out by using the page up and page down keys. You can also pan by using the arrow keys like this. And you can also zoom in and out by pressing control and then up and down arrows. On a Mac, this is the command button or the Apple key plus the up and down arrows like this. To start, pan to face the southern horizon and then zoom out so that you can see both the east and west markers on either side of the screen. You're gonna wanna be panned out enough that you're gonna be able to see the full arc of the sun in the sky on the summer solstice, uh, but we can check to make sure that's true in a little bit. You can also set your location ahead of time by opening up the set location window. In order to do that, hover your mouse on the bottom side of the left boundary of the Stellarium window. A toolbar should appear right here. The top option, which looks like a compass, will open the location window. You can scroll through this drop down list until you find a nearby location. You can also click on the map to narrow down the options to a smaller region and then click the X in the top right to close out of the window. So for example, right now I'm in Los Angeles. If I wanted to move to a location on the East Coast, let's say New Jersey, uh, I would click over on that side and then I would look for someplace in New Jersey. The second icon down on this toolbar over here, which looks like a clock, will bring up the date time control window. You're gonna to wanna to keep this window, which appears right here in the bottom right, up when you're working with this software with students. You can click on the arrows above and below the numbers to change the local date and time. Note that the time uses the 24 hour day. You can make time pass hourly by changing the time in the control window. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna make time pass. You can also make time pass by adjusting the minutes. Or you can also speed up the simulation so that time passes more quickly on its own using the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. You may need to hover over the left side of the bottom boundary of the Stellarium window to make this toolbar up here. That's this toolbar right down here. You'll notice this toolbar also tells me the date and time and the location that I'm in, which is Hawthorne, New Jersey right now. So the second to last four icons on the right side of this toolbar control the passage of time. This single right facing arrow right here will make time pass in real time, a rate of one hour per hour. The double left facing arrow will slow down time by a tenth and the double, that's this one right here, and the double right facing arrow right here will speed up time by 10. So that means that if you click it once, it'll speed up time by 10. If you click it twice, it'll speed up time by 100. If you click it three times, by 1,000, etc. The hourglass shape right here will take you back to the current moment in time. 
Note that if you accidentally bring up an information box at any point, for example, like this, all you need to do is right click to make that information box disappear. So to start out, let's make sure that we have the right point of view. Um, let's set the date to the summer solstice, June, which is the sixth month. And then we're gonna make it June 21st. And then I'm just going to move through the hours very quickly to make sure that I can see the entire arc of the sun and I can. So this is gonna be a good perspective to take when I'm showing uh, observations for students. Once you've done that, you're now ready to take observations with your students for lesson two. Uh, there is another video, Observing the Sun with Stellarium, that we recommend that you watch and an accompanying teacher reference that will show you how to move through the observations that you will need to take with students in lesson two. Thank you.